Scooby-Doo was and remains to be one of the best cartoons ever made. And as a kid, the live action movie was one of my all time favorites. Now a very valuable piece of that movie is available for a one night stay as Airbnb says they'll offer stays inside a mystery machine modeled after the one that was used in the film. It's part of the 20th anniversary celebration of the movie and one of the actors, Matthew Lillard, will even be there to host. You know, I like to think Jeff, Theo and I could make a pretty good Scooby-Doo spin-off if we tried. I would imagine spending time on the barren land of Mars can be a little lonely. Luckily, the Mars rover, Perseverance, has a brand new friend. NASA says the rover had a rocket stuck in the wheel four months ago, and since then, the two have traveled over five and a half miles. It doesn't go very fast, all right? And the crew at NASA says the rock has become sort of a pet for Perseverance. They say with age comes wisdom, but sometimes as you grow old, you still remain a kid at heart. And that's the case for a senior living center in Minnesota where residents compete in forklift racing. It's not actual forklifts, but a mini version that are remote controlled. The object is to pick up big loads and then place them around the arena. The first team to complete that task wins. Something tells me that Jeff and I would not be very good at that game. The world can be full of mysteries, as we know, because of Scooby-Doo. And now we need to get to the bottom of one in Texas, as a security camera at the Amarillo Zoo captured what appears to be a wolf man. There are plenty of theories for what it could be, but I like to think there actually is a wolf man on the prowl. And that actually might be the first mystery Jeff, Dio, and I try to solve. We'll be right back here on Up North at 4 after the break.